Hello Libra, welcome to your daily message. Let's see what's coming out for Libra. Libra, I do have a announcement for you, church announcement. If you have not already booked your new moon reading, you might want to do so. Right now, the energies of manifesting whatever you want is so dynamic. It is so intense. There's so many portals open. There's so many astrological events happening right now in the universe. I feel like this is the biggest or the most important new moon of the year. That's just me. That's just me. Okay. So there's a lot that's going on right now and you can manifest things like so quickly. So, so, so quickly. So I feel like this is a great time for you to get a reading. If you are interested in that, learning how you can manifest a lot of things quickly, get in some type of spiritual insights in your journey, what you need to let go, what you need to release, what you need to do. Make sure you check out the new moon reading at sacredlibra.com. All right. Um, it is a five card spread with clarifiers going for at $30 right now. Really, really cheap, really, really doable. Okay, so if you're interested, you want to check that out. You don't want to miss this time, okay? All right, guys, let's get right into your reading. Let's see what the energies are. What's coming out for Libra? Please only take what resonates, leave what does not. If you find something here that resonates, make sure you give this reading a big thumbs up. Make sure you guys are subscribed. What's coming out for Libra today? Wait. Something's unlikely. Wait a minute. What? No. Okay, wait a minute. Something is not for you. It's just not for you. But we do have perfect timing. We have earth and ground and we have perfect timing. So for some of you guys, this could be the perfect time for you to ground yourself. And we have this Virgo, this this new moon in Virgo. I'm just saying, this is the perfect time for you to for you to ground yourself. Um, there's something else that you're doing instead of grounding yourself. So something is coming in the way of you spending more time with you in spirit, you and God. So there could be something that you're trying to manifest or something that you're trying to pull in that's coming in the that's that's going to step in the way of you and you, your relationship with you, your relationship with God. This is the perfect time for you to ground yourself. OK, this is perfect timing. Why? Because all of the universe, all of the stars are aligned. We have so many portals open right now. Like we're going to get into that video. It's just another video. Um there's a need for you to com communicate clearly what it is that you want. There's also a sacred plan that's happening. So it's not saying that you won't get what it is that you want. It's just saying that there's a sacred plan for what it is that you want. And there's a need for you to, the most important thing for you to do is to ground yourself. Okay. Let's see why. All right. This, you need to be assertive. You're supposed to lead somewhere. You need to heal your inner child. You need to be adamant about healing your, your, your inner child. Because in order to, for you to lead in this area, your inner child needs to be healed. So you're going to have to play mommy or play daddy. Holy love. Also, this is the perfect time for you to swallow yourself up in holy love. Okay. Okay. And just like strictly love from God. The best love. What is it? Agape love. Mm, 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 mm. Why did I think about that? Bam, 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 mm, mm, mm. We got mean girls coming out. 
I don't know why Mean Girls keep coming out for you. Yeah, I want to I want to confess, but I'm scared. So I feel like there was a, a group that was conspiring against you, these Mean Girls. And they want to confess what they've done, but they're scared. They're scared to confess what it is they've done or confess what it is that has been happening or something like that. But they are scared. I'm going to just read this right now. I don't know why mean girls and maybe maybe you're trying to get okay so i feel like also you could be trying to if you're trying to connect with people who aren't for you it's because they're mean they have nasty attitudes you may like something about them but it's their energy is just not it's it's, it's a no-go yeah they, they they may be beautiful too and they may be the they may be the girls that you know can dress they can keep up with you with the dressing because you know leapers can dress they may be the girls who you know have the aesthetic um because Libras can get a little shallow sometimes. They may be the girls that may... They may be into the same spiritual things that you're into. Because um, I've heard that, I heard that a lot of spiritual people are mean. And I'm like, what? Really? <laughs> but I've heard that. But but I, I like to think that it, they be protecting their energy. But this is just... this. These are mean-spirited people. So on the outside, a person looks nice, but on the inside, they are very, very mean spirited. So you could be feeling like why, you know, you could feel like you fit in this group. You could feel like you could, if you're trying to get into this group of people, it's not for you. Um, also, I'm getting like somebody may steal something from you or they may try to steal something from you. This could be your aura. This could be what you talk about. This could be how you do things. There's something else that's looking at you. There's something else that's that that's and that's way more friendly. There's something there's something else for you that's way more friendly for you. There's something else that's way more friendly and it's going to give you the things that you want instead of you getting into this click with these mean spirited people. Okay, we just gonna take the, the gender out and we're just gonna say people here. Yeah. All right. Um, I also feel like if you feel like you need to fit in for any reason, like you have to be in or you have to, like sometimes I see people go around different things or people because they feel like they have to be in the know, they feel like they have to be in the loop, they have to make themselves seen or whatever, but something is not worth it because you got the, the no with the exclamation point and we don't normally see that now. It's always like a, a maybe no, but yeah, somebody is mean-spirited. All right. And look, you're not for everybody, and that's okay. Feel it, just pause. Some of you guys need to feel that you are not for everybody. That there are people who are not going to like you. There are people who are going to have nasty attitudes and who are going to be mean to you. There's You cannot control that. I don't care how much you think I protect my energy and I, I, I whatever. I spray this, I put this oil, I don't care. It's You can't control that. You have to focus on the things that you can control. What you can control is how you... How you treat other people, how you treat yourself, you can control that. But as far as how people treat you, you can. And you can control if you were to allow this person to keep access to you so they can. But you can't control how they think about you or when they, when you, when they come around you, how they look at you, how they talk about you, how they... You can't control that. So I do feel like there's a need for you, you to just feel that you are not for everybody. And it's fine. It's perfectly fine. It's normal, actually, not being for everybody. Nobody's for everybody, right? Um, there is a yes that's coming. Look, say yes to this. We have this sneaky... Somebody is sneaky. There's something that sneaks in. But this only comes in when you start feeling like you have to prove something to these people. Like, what, what do you have to prove to these people? What do you need to prove to them? You don't need to prove anything to them. You can be confused. Like, I've never treated a person so mean. Or I never treated a person so bad. Or every time i seen them, it was all love. And why are they speaking about me like that? Why? It's because they have a mean spirit. 
a very, very mean spirit. And I don't know why I thought about this, but it's probably going to hit for somebody. But a lot of people who be in church and real, real churchy, they be mean as hell. <laughs> They be mean spirited, like like so. Someone you may think like, but these are the girls that you know they into spirituality. They go to my church or they go to my what you know whatever religion. Or a lot of the times, those be the most judgmental, the most mean, the most self righteous people. Not down to earth, like you can't say anything in front of these people or whatever. Always judging. I don't know. Something's telling you like it's like, wait a minute. That's not going to happen. It's unlikely that that's for you because of how you're not mean-spirited. This person's mean-spirited, okay? And then you see like, no, this is not for you. It's the perfect time for you to ground. It's the perfect time for you to, to love you. Look at this. We have the Will of Fortune. We have a huge change, a dynamic change that's coming in something changes everything i feel like this is when you just rest in that you are not for everybody and be it whoever for some of you guys this could be mean-spirited people in your family this could be a mean-spirited friend group that you have attracted or you have tried to fit in and wanted to belong in okay this could be a mean-spirited group of work colleagues or something like that that you just don't necessarily the moment that you be okay with the fact that you don't fit in with everybody or you're not you're not for everybody this changes everything something changes everything it's the one small thing that changes everything it's almost like the butterfly effect because something is only working because it is banking on you having this perception that you need to fit in in places that you don't belong. I'm going to say that again. Something is only working because it's banking on the fact that you need to fit in in a place where you don't belong. It's banking on the fact that you'll continue to keep trying. It's banking on the fact that you'll continue to keep trying out and keep on, you know, lowering yourself. Something is banking on that. And the moment that you like say, fuck it. I know it's early, y'all. I'm sorry. It changes everything. <laughs> Completely changes everything. And right now, while everything's happening, everything is intensifying. Yeah, look. You have the judgment here. The judgment card with the seven of swords. Now, again, the mean girls came up and it was like, I want to confess, but I'm scared. Hmm. You mean to tell me these mean spirited people are scared of you? Mean spirited scared of you you're not you're not mean spirit you can't you, you're the justice card you see everything trying to create justice have a heart on like helping the the little guy the little people the um underdog things like that that's what the justice does right making sure everything is balanced making sure balance is happening right and the moment that you say the moment that you kind of come out of something you're able to see what these mean girls so you could you you probably are going to be able to see these people for who they are so a level of discernment right raises okay and then this energy is a change like you get justice so this lets me know that these these have been these people have been offending you so that's why they're mean spirited because they have been offending you i don't know if this is your friend group i don't know if this is and they could be saying little small things doing little small things just to slowly get up under your skin they're not just saying that they're not just talking about weight or saying those things about it could be money or your hair or something just because they're saying that to purposely offend you because they're mean spirited. And the wall changes here. All right. We have this two of cups. These are close. This lets me know these are close relationships. Close relationships. Divine Master, you could be dealing with a, a, a mean a mean woman, a mean-spirited woman. Like, these are really, really close relationships, too. Okay. 
Let's go into the sacred traveler for today. about bees in the trap. Big bees in the trap. Mm -mm 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 -mm. But you say A hundred mother can't tell me. Some of you guys may have a hundred people. It's like bees in the trap. Let's see. What's the daily message for Libra today? I like how that shuffles. Okay. Mm bottom of the deck we have vast vistas expansion broadening your horizons expand your horizons especially if it has something to do with a group that you're surrounding you may need to network you may need to um meet new people get out there and meet new people um get in different groups get in different clubs but it's like there's whoever is around you it's mean spirited okay uh, we do have narrow pathway, your current energy, narrow pathway, protected by angels and discovering the truth. And what do we see the truth was? You're discovering the truth about you not being for everybody and that's perfectly fine. Also, you are discovering the truth that you are protected by the angels. All right. It says you are cherished by the, the angels. There is a narrow pathway. Like, it may feel like there's no room. Um, I'm seeing tread thoughtfully. Like, be mindful about who you bring on your pathway with you. And also tread lightly. Be mindful about the baggage, the things that you don't need. That's bring you're bringing. You're just bringing just because. Because you haven't emptied your bag. Some of you guys, you don't even know what's in the bag. You know how you have that big purse and you go through and you're like, oh my God, that was in here. Some of you guys, that's that like that. That's that negative, that negative energy that you could just be bringing along with you, and it could be some of your stuff or some, some other people's stuff. You just used to carrying the heavy bag, and you know you have all your things by the weight. You ever picked up your purse and it was too light, and you're like, "This is too light." You look through it and realize that you're missing some things, or you may look through it and be like, "Oh, I got everything. Oh, it feels too light." Some of you guys could be used to carrying a heavy bag. Like, empty that bag and see what's in that bag that you probably don't even need. Okay, we have the tree, which is health. This is good relationships, um, good health. This is also um, fulfillment of your highest hopes. We do have the mighty enemy right here. So you could be discovering the truth about the mighty enemy, and this is plural. The presence. You could have placed yourself right in the presence of the mighty enemy. Okay. Um, there is a relationship that's coming out of something that's going to be rewarding you. Somebody could basically be telling you like giving you some type of support, giving you some type of love, um, giving you some type of recognition that you don't normally get. I feel like spirit is telling you where to go like this isn't for you but this is for you no you see how you feel when you talk to this person or when you go around this person this is for you okay over here all right let's see all right we have the ace of swords coming in so this is this has a lot to do with truth so you are discovering a lot of truth about every a lot of things and for some of you guys, you are really discovering that there's a person who has been 
threatening or not not threatening you but in i feel like these are insults nasty insults very very nasty insults yeah very nasty insults also there's a person who's beginning praise to insult you Somebody has been getting like praise or props to talk about you or whatever. You're getting real, real nasty insults. Yes, yeah, the empress. We talk about the empress commanding all attention, but a lot of the times, but sometimes, I ain't going to say a lot because she brings, she is love. She attracts love. But sometimes that attention is exactly what it says, center of attention. It didn't say what kind of attention. Commanding attention. It didn't say what kind of attention. And there's a lot of people who don't necessarily like the empress okay um let's see what's going on on the spiritual spiritual realm there's a breakthrough you got mystic healer fellow fellow travelers and there's a breakthrough okay so you are a healer here and right now you are breaking through to your actual followers your actual support the people who actually support you you are about to break through the pavement where you are going to see your act your the people who really really support you okay the support that's all around you um and they support your healing energy so you are a healing you are a healer um they know that you come in peace they don't question it or whatever So you are about to, you are finding your tribe. You are breaking through this. And there's need for you to break through this type of illusion of creating these, these crazy relationships with these people who don't necessarily like you or who aren't necessarily for you. Okay. And look, here we have recognition of labor. We have high honors. Okay, we have you getting your flowers. We have the order, honor and recognition. These are people who honor you and people who recognize who you are. They recognize the healing energy in you. They recognize your light. So, Brene Brown says this thing about candle blower outers, okay? Um, and you want to put bring yourself around a lot of people who like think of yourself as a candle you have your light and sometimes your light may shine brighter than other people's light and you want to be around people when your light is shining a little bit better or brighter than their light that you want people to congratulate your light and not try to blow your your light out and then also when you know the wind is blowing and your light is flickering you want people to come around you to hold to keep their hands around your light so your light doesn't go out instead of people who blow out your light so you want to surround yourself with more people who are going to protect your light than blow it out so that's what i'm thinking right here for some of you guys you can be getting into that you are not for everybody and that's okay i feel like rejection could be really really hard on you when it comes to friends when it comes to dating when it comes to family it's just rejection could be really hard on you because you're like you you feel like it has something to do with you and it does not have something. To, it doesn't have anything to do with you. Um, there's a lot of people who are longing for you in this way. It's way you have no idea. I feel like you can be accustomed to this mean spirited or people who are mean spirited around you. And it's way better. It's way gentler. Way better for you. Look at this love coming to you. Got the Knight of Cups. Knight of Cups is coming to you, speaking all love, giving you their heart, not being afraid to show you their heart. Got the and here you are, the Empress here. Not being afraid to show you their heart. There's a need for you to create boundaries too. Um surrounding these people. Also, this has a lot. This person is coming through to help you drop some type of load. You've been dealing with something. I feel like there's a person who's coming through to help you. Somebody just completely want to help. All right. We do have you are the magician here. So you have all the tools. You have it all. You have everything you need. 
Okay, right, let's see what's going on in love. You got ascending the mountain, finding sanctuary, and embracing enthusiasm. So, um, for some of you guys, like I said, this is a good time for you to get um, work on your relationship with you and God. This has a lot to do with your relationship with God. Finding sanctuary here. Um, ascending the mountain. Opening up to your spiritual source. And this is you shouting to the heavens with happiness. So this is you speaking to God. Um, and this is you working on your relationship with God. So I feel like some of you guys, you could be going through some type of rejection phase or something like that. But this is some time. And a lot of times during that rejection phase, this is a good time for you to become one with spirit. Okay, work on your relationship. Strengthen your relationship. Okay. You have the fox here. This has to do with distant. Yeah, this is distant danger. So the more you strengthen your relationship with God, source, the universe, whatever you call it, the more you strengthen your relationship with God, the less danger or the less, the more protection you get. The more you start strengthening your relationship. So we know what um, God's protection is, right? We know what that is. And look at that. Protection. There's a lot of people who could be taking interest or a lot of people who could be trying to do things. But you have protection. Flames protection around you. Okay. Also, if you are, if you get rejected or something like that or whatever, that was completely protection. Just letting you know you are strengthening your relationship with God and God is protecting you. Okay. Yeah. Resting. This is you resting. The four of um, swords in reverse. This is you getting out of your head and being able to rest. All right. Sage is, Sage is always barking. When I record, well, you are learning how to keep your focus. You are learning how to keep your, your eyes on the prize, no matter what is surrounding you, no matter what type of um, negativity is surrounding you. We do have a fox here. So you're, you're learning how to keep your eyes on the prize. So this is you being undisturbed. With all the mess that's going around you. This is laser focus. Okay. And it happens with strengthening your relationship with God. Okay. You learn how to not really focus on the noise. And tune in. Tune into source. All right. Let's see career. All right. You're uncovering treasure. Okay. We have wandering path. And we have a great adventure. So you're about to uncover some beautiful treasure. This could be a lot of abundance when it comes to career. And this has a lot to do with going on a opposite path or a different direction than you than you were going on um this is, has a lot to do with you taking a risk you doing something that you normally wouldn't do you taking a leap of faith i feel like this has a lot to do with you doing you going in another direction or you going against what you're supposed to do or doing something without these mean-spirited people okay yeah look at that you have this Family quarrels. Family quarrels here. So this is you doing something different. For some of you guys, these mean-spirited people could be in your family. Family drama has been coming up a lot, a lot, a lot, a lot, a lot. Um, there could be something beneath the surface of all of the, the drama you can be going through with close friends, family, close people that you work with. It could be something um, beneath the surface and you're uncovering that, that treasure. Yeah. Look at the Ace of Cups coming through. Pouring out love. There's a need for you to enjoy the, the journey. There's a risk that you're going to take or there's a risk that you've taken. And there's a need for you to enjoy it because there's treasure underneath this. And it's hidden. This is a secret. Or something was a secret. <clears throat> Spirit needs you to see that you are not for everybody. 
this period. Spirit needs you to see that. And you are about to awaken to know that you are not for everybody. You could be uh, special. I feel like this is like some type of special, special energy. <clears throat> there is a lot. So whoever these mean people were, you had some type of self-imposed prison and why you kept yourself attached to them. And this could very well be family. Why? Because it's like, I mean, we family. I have to. You may feel like you are obligated to be surrounded with these people. Um, but you're not. Okay. All right, let's see what's surrounding you. We have impasse. Reflect and redirect your energy. All right. We have surrendering to the journey, release control. And we have passion and pleasure, savor your life. Okay. So reflect and redirect your energy comes from you feeling like you can control some ship. And we talked about you cannot control how people treat you what you can control is the access that these people have to you what you can control is the energy you give to, to these um people how you treat yourself okay but you can't really control like you can't control it they people gonna do what they're gonna do you know um so i feel like this is you surrendering to trying to control it and this is what i mean for some of you guys you're feeling like well if i just do more if i just do this if i just give this if i just say this if i just be this way then maybe it's not because you can't control that that person would have to then say let me treat libra nicely you can't then say i'm going to treat this person nicely and they are going to treat me nicely in return Yes, it seems like that's the equal way to do it. You know, I give to you, you give to me. But we know in the world that we live in that sometimes you give to a person and they look at you like you're crazy. Like, what do you want? Sometimes you're sweet to a person and you're nothing but nice to a person and they're mean to you or judgmental of you or whatever of you and you did not warrant that behavior. Why? Because you have no control over that behavior coming to you. Um, so I feel like there's a need for you to stop trying to people please or stop trying to jump through hoops. We talked about stop trying to fit into this thing and embrace your differences. Okay. And savor your life. It looks like you have passion and pleasure in your life. Savor the things that make you happy. Okay. There's a need for you to redirect your energy towards you. Okay. Um, Let's see. Oh, we got three coming out. So we got seven. You could be seeing seven, seven, seven. You know what seven, seven, seven is. That's sudden, that's sudden wealth. All right. So we do have flattery on you. Um, someone's flattered by you. There's a lot of flattery. There's a lot of favor. A lot of favor on you. Also, for some of you guys, there's a strife that you can't quite fix. Because there's some type of problem where the other person will have to fix it within themselves. And you will have to fix the things within yourselves. And then you got you come together. But as far as the relationship, you can't quite, you can't fix that by yourself. And I feel like there's a need for you to know that. You cannot. Both parties have to work together. Both people have to water the plant in order for the plant to grow. Um, uh, things are definitely going to be looking up for you. And... I keep on getting a stork. So there could be a change of residence. Maybe you could be living with people who are mean spirited and you just need to get away. And in the moment that you redirect your energy to you and God and work on that relationship and realize that you are different and that's completely okay. Boom. There's a way for something new that's coming in for you to get out of that energy. If you could be living with these people who are uh, mean spirited to you. Because you have a lot of favor around you. And spirit is like, why don't they know that? Because whatever you believe, it is. And if you keep on believing something, it is. It will be. <laughs> so you have to stop believing something different. So spirit can work with you now. Spirit is trying to work with you. All right, let's see. That just fell. 
Let's see. Yeah. Yeah, we have this, this drama here. Redirect your energy. Look at this chaos. This is what it is. This is what's surrounding you. Drama, chaos, jealousy, envy, um, hostilities, unnecessary um, conflicts. All of that. This is what the five of wands is. And there's a need for you to get your energy out of this. But instead of you, this is you trying to fit into this. To these people who fight in each other, they don't even like each other. And that's what you're trying to fit into. This is what you are sabotaging yourself with. Or this is what you used to sabotage yourself with because you're getting out of it. Um, you kept on looking back. I feel like there was a fear of missing out that you could have possibly had with these people. But you have this death card with this good Scorpio energy. And we did talk about that new moon in Scorpio. If you have not checked out um, the new moon reading. Five things you need to know before the new moon. You might want to check that out. But we talking about you releasing that fear. And this just is that fear. That fear of missing out. Because something happens in November. That's really big. That you would have to have let this thing go. You would have to have um, embraced change. You would have to have... Let this energy die out and let something new be reborn to be ready for what's to come. So we got to, we got to, we even got a heads up, <laughs> got a heads up in the reading too. And this has a lot to do, like something is happening in November where you would need to release that fear. Also, um, there's a need for you to look at life differently, change your perception. I feel like this is changing your perception of how you see yourself or how you see your life. Because there's a need for you to savor your life, all right? Um, what's coming towards you? There's a transformation that's coming towards you. This is a fresh new energy. Um, a fresh new way of living emerges. You are about to live your life on different terms, completely different, okay? We also have taken shelter. The answers are within. This is like the hermit energy card. So this is you going within. We talked about working on that relationship with self and God. And then we have beginning now. So you can take your first step. So you'll be beginning something soon. Like you could have been dreaming about beginning, dreaming about doing something, dreaming. Now you're going to be walking in it. So that's what you're manifesting towards yourself. That's what's coming right towards you. All right, let's see. We got protection here. All right. And we have the eye. Okay. So I do feel like because somebody is taking interest in you, your life could change um, drastically. Um, great interest taken by friends. We talked about those fellow supporters that's coming in. So this is great, really, really big interest that's coming in. Also, for some of you guys, you can have a lot of people that's watching you that don't necessarily like you. Okay, too. You are protected by that. We talked about that protection. Um but we have a lot of abundance that's coming towards you. And this abundance comes in like a tower. Why? Because after this happened, things will never be the same. Things just won't be the same. Okay. All right. Let's see what else is coming towards you. You got, you'll be reaching your destination, reaching your destination. Your light is shining brightly, so bright that you are about to go there. We also have crossing bridges. It's time for healing, connecting, mending, and releasing. And staying focused. Hold the course. We talked about you learning how to stay focused, learning how le learning how to have laser focus, no matter what is going on around you, right? Um, also crossing br bridges with yourself. And also, I feel like this is you getting, getting to where you've been wanting to go. For some of you guys, you didn't know that not only the people, I don't feel like the people are that strong, but you having the idea that you had to fit in or fix something or control something with these people that could have been keeping you away from your destination now when you get out of the energy of thinking that you it's, it's on you to fix how a person shows up in life that's not your that's not your job <laughs> you don't have no control over that also why you wanted to 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 um belong in a place or fit in in a place where you don't belong um and kind of over and extending, over extending yourself. And when a person is mean to you, you blame you instead of letting the other person wear the account accountability. So yeah, you could possibly feel like weighed down. 
completely weighed down. Um, let me pull a tarot for this before I go in there. All right. Let's see. Oh, happiness. Okay. There's something you've been waiting for. Okay, so this comes... This transformation, a fresh new way of living emerges. You've been waiting for this thing and boom, it's here now and it knocks you off your feet. This is waiting, waiting, waiting. The seven of pentacles, watering your garden, nurturing your garden, waiting, waiting, waiting. And then next thing you know, you feel, you feel like off balance. You may feel a lot off balance. And then here is your ten of, of cups. Here is your wish fulfillment coming in. The ultimate happiness. The ultimate dream. All right. All right. Tell me more. Okay. We have the house here. Pleasant conditions. Success. Future happiness. Reaching your destinations. The future will be so good. So good. Um, there's some type of future that's going to be so good that the pain right now, there is this, um, scripture. I'm trying to remember it. Okay. I remember it is the pain you've been feeling can't compare to the joy that's coming. Romans 8, 1, 8, 8, 18. The pain you've been feeling can't compare to the joy that's coming. And this is basically what this what this is. Could be a lot of rejection that's happening here. Um, and it's not going to compare to the joy that you're about to feel. That's what I'm getting from this house. This is future happiness. It's a lot of pleasant, pleasant energy that's coming towards you. Even if the present condition is unpleasant. This is just shows that it's either great it's either good energy now or it's going to be good energy but it's all good energy all right we have the two of swords in um reverse and this is for sure for sure for sure for sure for sure energy and again this has a lot to do with you releasing a lot of fear this has a lot to do with you releasing the fear of of, of um missing out this has a lot to do with you releasing a lot of things that don't serve you letting out letting those things go letting these mean-spirited people who aren't for you go all right and last but not least let's see what the message is from the ancestors okay we have first light you are beginning a new cycle and we have rainbow blessings blessings are showering your life right now and we do have desert passage there is a divine pain um plan with the desert passage, you may feel like things are dry, it's hot. Why am I down this path? You could be questioning, why are you sending me down this road? Why do I have to go down this road? But there is a divine plan of why you have to go down there. You are beginning a whole new cycle and blessings are about to shower your life. You may see a rainbow today. You are the star. You got success. This is you attracting all of your manifestations coming towards you. It's going to be a, a beautiful surprise. <laughs> a beautiful surprise. Like the, the pain that you're feeling, it won't be able to compare to the joy that's coming. The joy to come. Okay. All right. Let's see. And we have the five of swords. This is hidden. Something is hidden. There's a hidden talent that you have or there's a hidden ability that you have. Um, you could be dealing with a lot. For some of you guys, the reason why you deal with a lot of this is because you have star quality. 
that's the reason why you deal with a lot of this this five of swords energy lies bickering um people being just nasty people around you just mean this will be just mean spirited this person is just taken just cuz just cuz they want to take B dealing with a lot of mean spirited people attracting um this is because you have like a calling on your life there's a need for you to go within. There's a need for you to tap into your intuition. We talked about that relationship with yourself and God. And here with the star, the star again. So confirmation on this. Um, you have some type of star quality. And there's a need for you to nurture it. There's a need for you to water it. There's a need for you to understand it um, and sit with it. I feel like maybe you don't see it because you haven't sat with it. All right. All right, Libra, I'm going to leave your reading right here. I hope this reading resonates. If it does, make sure you give this reading a big thumbs up. Make sure you guys are subscribed. I love you guys and I will see you in the next video.